Hello everybody, my name is Anthem, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4 as Sweden. Let us continue on from the last left off. So, uh, we're going to try to deal with the Black Monday Crisis. It's going to take another uh, three days for us to unlock some decisions. We only have 37 uh, political power, which isn't that much. So let's see, we have some new decisions here. Response to Black Monday, ignore all these things for now. What can we do? Build, borrow 2 million kroner. Uh, we have 4 million in our budget, we have 0% inflation, 30% unemployment, and we have no debt at the moment. Okay. So, cut military funding absolutely is not going to happen. Start a public work program. I don't even know, I don't know when this eventually is, um, when, it's, when black money is considered solved. So, social conservative goes down by 5%. We save 5 million kroner, raise taxes. Construction speed goes down for a full year. We collect 2 million dollars. Cut welfare funding. Monthly population goes down by 10%. Holy hell. I guess it's 10% off of the growth, but still. Or implement tariffs. This violates the rules of Middle Europa. Well. Drop the gold standard. What do you do? You know, we're going to wait until we can actually drop the gold standard. So what are we going to do? So we've gotten these uh, unlocked. Two times for electronics, uh, bonus for research, two free civilian factories. Uh, would be nice. And getting the 10 oil would also be nice. As far as I know, I don't have oil, right? You know, I have zero oil in my country. So I kind of want to get my way down there. So let us go for LKAB. And if we can get a handful of oil within the country, that would be uh, nice. Uh, so, as you may have noticed, um, I do have the Thick Black Borders mod on installed. And the reason I've installed it is for basically over here. We can take an example. We start off, we can see actually where the Soviet borders originally were. So, you can see basically, you know, where the Soviets have pushed out. You can see where the Russians have pushed in. Same over here with the Alash. You can see that they've lost all this territory up here. So, it's like, it's quite handy, I, I would say, for that. You can kind of see, you know, where the original front lines were. As opposed to, like, you know, the... The traditional Hearts of Iron 4, where you basically cannot tell whatsoever how, uh, if, you know, some countries are actually winning or losing, or who's pushing the who. The debate over military expenses, um, the opposite, opposition completely trashed the budget, uh, well, the election approach is, what are we going to do? The opposition completely trashed the budget. Sure, why not? Because, you know, I don't want the- I want the Conservatives to lose the election. And I don't know if it- if we get to choose or if, you know, the events that we decide on uh, choose who actually wins. Because right now, the Social Democrats have 37% of the uh, party popularity. Yep, and we can see Finland did join uh, the Reich Pact, which does make them an absolute threat for us in the future. It'd be nice if- uh, Norway could also join into the war or if Norway would also go syndicalist so we can form like some sort of alliance together and deal with Finland uh, in the future because I'm sure we're probably are going to need it so right now our army is pretty small we only have 13 divisions Finland has probably more than we do do we have all these provinces covered we do fantastic I see some cavalry division like way to the southern border I don't think they need to be way up to the uh, far north. So again, we have 50 political power, but I'm saving up for that nice... Wait, no, we need 50 to drop the gold standard. Never mind. There we go. So we've dropped the gold standard. This will grow inflation. You know, how much does it increase inflation by? 3%. So we have th uh, $6 million to play with. 5% on um, inflation for now. We can't nationalize any companies. Unemployment lowered by uh, 3%. Not super good factories, 10%. Unemployment reduced by another 2% once removed. And we'll actually gain infrastructure from that. Sure, you know what? We'll spend $3 million doing that. Lower unemployment, we're like 27% unemployed now. I guess that's, that is an improvement, uh, technically. Uh, 
Inflation is below 8%. We have less than $10 million in debt. I don't know when it considers... Um, You know, and let's also spend two million dollars subsidizing a raw resource export. I'm sure that does something good for us. Uh, we're going to borrow. Uh, does this increase inflation? Well, I don't want to print extra money right now because we need our inflation to be under eight uh, percent for us to actually finish Black Monday. Because if it's over eight percent, then we're just kind of screwed. Okay, so it's 1936 still. Um, let's go for radio. Yes. Let's get the radio research for right now. We have 10 points. Implement tariffs. I'm guessing if we become... We look like $1 million in tariffs. That will be added to our budget. Unemployment will be lowered by 2%. You know, let's violate, let's violate, uh, the rules of Middle Europa. And get some, uh, tariffs in here. Hopefully the Germans don't respond. Unemployment has fallen before 24% as a result of Swedish economy starting to show its first signs of recovery. As more people work and they start spending their salaries again. Although the worst is over, we remain far from pre-crisis levels. So, okay. It is a start. So that's good. We've broken the uh, trade agreements we had with the Germans, but hopefully they're not too upset about that. Yeah, no, they don't have a get a they don't even have a modifier for it, so we're all fine. The Russian Republic has declared war on Transmere, which does mean that I believe they're going to be at war with the Japanese. So yeah, once again, Russia in this campaign, just like in the Middle Africa campaign, they find themselves at a uh, like basically a three front war right now. So we'll see how this actually goes. Unemployment has increased by 4%. So fantastic. I think we've actually, we're in a worse situation than when we started to implement the tariffs, but... Eh, I mean, it could be worse, right? It could theoretically be worse. Germany Asia has declared war on the Indochinese Union, so Ho Chi Minh uh, once again is trying to, you know, get some independence for Indochina. Yeah, so we're going to have the uh, SAP triumphant. So we should go for the Social Democrats. The elections have happened. We bypass those other events, which I'm assuming means we just don't get the bonuses of them. Then again, they didn't really do much. I mean, factory construction speed plus 10% for 180 days. It's not really that big of a deal. Uh, we'll partner with bot... Okay, who are these two countries? Uh... No, we're going to work towards socialism with the SVV. And we'll see how this goes. Yeah, so Social Democrats are now in charge. 41% party, party popularity. Okay, uh, should we raise taxes? Construction speed goes down, but I don't know if that really matters that much. So let's raise taxes. Um, we have no political power right now to do anything. We can nationalize a major company. So let's do that as well. We're basically spending a lot of money. We have no money right now. But we have we do have unemployment down to 25%. Uh, it should drop down a little bit more again once. Um, my brain's melting. Uh, once that one focus was done. So the opposition victory. Seven days. Might as well get that done. Okay. Well, actually, it does, uh, does it immediately. The forced abdication. Before June 1st, 1937, or coalition of like-minded people. Or we can keep going down these trees. Some civilian factories. Getting the research bonus for the uh, next rifle would probably be nice. I'm pretty sure force abdication might start a civil war. So we're going to get the research bonus for the next gun. Okay, so mechanized computing has been researched. Uh, so that's a 1938 text. So that's a little bit uh, beyond our scope for now. So what can I research uh, right now that'll be worth it? You know, better artillery. 113 days. Not that big of a deal. Yeah, these guys already have support. Uh, 
Which one of these guys are garrison and which one are infantry? You're a garrison troop. No, you should just be like regular infantry divisions. Please and thank you. I don't want garrison troops at all. There we go. So delete garrison for now. And for some reason, the infantry have cavalry inside of them. And I think I just want to make them, you know, just a... Because uh... right now, the combat with his uh, 14. Let's throw, like, some artillery in there. And then, like, one infantry get up to 20 combat with. We'll save that. I mean, it's going to make these guys probably all green. Oh, it actually didn't. Fantastic. Okay. Well, we're going to need a significantly more artillery now than we did in the past. So let's crank out the artillery. Because we actually have enough guns for right now. We just don't have the artillery uh, for everybody. You know what? Do we even need our support artillery then in these armies? The copy rate, defense goes down, organization goes up. What's the organization right now? Yeah, let's actually do this. Can I replace with anybody else? No. So we're just going to take the artillery out off the support, have them in the main armies, redistribute those artilleries into the regular brigades. Yeah, now they've gone a little bit green, but that's fine. So we need 640 artillery pieces. Low manpower, that's fine. So what can we do? Cut military funding for, um... We'll say $5 million. We're not going to be at war, I think, anytime soon. I do need the artillery, though. Cut welfare funding. Negative 25% stability is terrible. We'll just wait for these ones to finish for at least right now. We do not experience the effects of Black Monday. So it means it's slightly better than it was in the past. That's not saying much. We got two more days until uh, we'll have our rifles. I'll go for the modern infantry uh, when the time comes. So let's go down research speed. Monthly population 40%. Stat tear. What is stat tear? Okay, these are just bad. Okay, so I would uh, abolish that. Ratify the Treaty of Stockholm. Denmark has completed. So everybody would have to do it. And I don't know what the likeliness of that actually is. The basis of democracy. War support goes up by 10%. Well, Cole, let's go for a coalition of the like-minded. 70... Oh, 70 days is quite a bit. What are we going to research? You know what? Let's, let's, let's destroy the monarchy. And we'll see what happens. I think it might cause a civil war. And if that's what happens, then, you know, so be it. Let's abolish the monarchy. Well, what, are, what are they going to do about it? Like, how, many, how much party popularity do the conservatives have? You know, they only have... Uh, 19%. Garner has been elected president of the United States. Uh, so good for him, I guess. So that means the Civil War is probably going to start breaking out uh, within the next few months. Because again, they've aban you, you can't avoid the Civil War anymore in the United States. It's just impossible. The elections in Italy. The Republic of Italy has elected a new prime minister. So you got a social liberal or a market liberal. No. No, you are social liberal. Okay. We got a research slot available. Let us get the gun for 53 days. Pretty, pretty cheap. We can actually start upgrading all of our infantry, which would be quite nice. What is actually in geopolitical action? Evade Aland. Join the Reich's Pact. Naval decisions, political actions. We're going to ignore that for now. I don't want to cut any of these fundings uh, at the time being. You know, inflation's only at 4%. Let's increase inflation a little bit. 7%, unemployment still fine. We'll just have to wait until one of these is done, and then we can start uh, subsidizing more public works. I think that should work out for us. We can get a new head of military intelligence. 
Oh yeah, and also, yeah, it does look like it didn't unlock uh, new people as well, which is nice. So political power gain, um, research speed plus 1%. Yeah, let's go for research speed plus 1%. I think that should be A-OK. -okay. And these will be done very, very soon. Unemployment will lower by about 4% once these are both finished. As far as I can tell, at least. It's getting us down to about 21%. I mean, it could have been better. We used to be at 24% until uh, we tried canceling the tariffs and it kind of screwed us and backfired. Force application. We got another 16 days. Okay. So now that nationalization is going to cost $5 million, which we don't have. We only have $2 million. Increased Rixbacked interest. Okay, lowers inflation by 5%, but I'm not too worried about that. So again, it's almost 1937, so I don't feel bad about researching 1937 tech, so let us get uh, this one started. 19 days. We got another month until these two are finished. I'm guessing, does this give us debt? No, okay, then just it just increased inflation by 5%. Okay, not too bad. Thank you very much. The abolition of the monarchy. Uh has become leader of the Social Democratic Party. Stability goes down by 20%. One of the conditions of the SVV was that the monarchy be abolished. According to them, the ancient institution was a mere tool as the reaction is to hold back the uh Sweden from the advancement of socialism. The SAP was mostly indifferent to the standpoint, it was outright uh, Republican wing is small, but evidently desired to rule with the fellow socialists one out since the infrastructure of government. Okay. So I'm guessing stability has gone down by 20%, but we're no longer a monarchy. We've uh, entered, you know, we're now a republic. The uh, Crisis uh, Commission report. Uh, the report last year's balance, I mean, left on your desk. Insofar we can't afford this, we'll take additional loans. Unemployment will be lowered by 2% thanks to the natural tendency of the unemployment to move towards equilibrium. So are we now in debt? No, but we're, uh... I mean, after these are done, we should actually uh, be under the 20% uh, modifier, which seems pretty good to me. So let's go, Coalition of the Like-Minded. I mean, 70 days is still a while. I'm kind of disappointed it's going to take that long, but what can you do? Rito Garbo stars in Camille. That outfit is truly revealing. See the most entertaining. Send me a ticket. Political power plus 15. Yes, yeah, so our stability is you know, pretty bad. Not great. Wait, what's going on? Cold morning, January. Still early in the morning when suddenly a group of men uh, knocked violently on the door of the house. Uh, the door opened. Of course, military force spoke up. Uh, Buyer was a new government. You're under arrest for treason. Oh no! The Paternal Autocrat Party. Okay, so. Coalition like-minded. Workers' militias form. Um, years ago, we would have ignored and swiftly arrested by the government, but today, Anton Nielsen and several companions' message uh, would be heard armed with weapons. A group of socialists siege the broadcast station uh, in Malmo and send a message to resistance against reactionary menace that is attacking the government and undoing stuff that we, that we are saying. It worked despite the militant socialist voice behind it. Swedes from across the country foreign militias from liberals to social democrats to hardcore syndicalists. Uh, this violation of the democratic process would not be accepted gladly. Uh, before long, workers' militias in Stockholm, filmed with laborers uh, with the brave desire to save their country from military tyranny, soon the side stood eye to eye. Uh, soldiers command themselves, join ag against their rogues period. This building goes down by 5%. Uh, I don't know what that one did. I mean, well, okay, well, we, we might as well just start, you know, let's get some, uh... Yeah, recruit population plus 1%. The fails good at all. The rest of the day was a blur characterized by scanned information. More and more militias roar, rose, and more and more soldiers defected to the workers' cause. Even the rogue companies outgunned. The naturally culminated in a uh, frenzied charge of the Reichstag. 
I don't know how to actually say that. In the late afternoon, a new Sweden is born today. So vampire has gone down by 792. Uh, you know, people have been killed. Civility goes down by 5%. Totalism, syndicalism, radical socialism has gone up. Social democracy and social liberalism has gone down. SSV will be the ruling party. And a bunch of modifiers. Okay. So we are now radical socialist. Uh, that is fine. We are going to have this guy in charge because why not? And we're still going to get our, you know, modern infantry guns. I think that uh, still is quite good. And this also unlocks a bunch of new events up here. But I do think it's going to be a good time to end this episode. Thank you very much for watching my say anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If you're not, do like to down. Don't forget to subscribe and goodbye.